Hello guys, welcome to this video. Now in this video we have a great question from one of our students here on the Facebook marketing course from Debbie. She's asking about target audience and this is important. I decided to create this video because I want you to know exactly what's going on here and what's the difference when you are creating your target audience on Facebook. Remember that the target audience is one of the most important elements that you have on your marketing because if you don't have an, an optimized target audience and you start running ads well, you won't have any positive results because basically the results that you will have will be for a non-optimized audience and that can cause problems because you won't have any sales so let's go to debbie's questions she's asking specifically when you are creating a target audience and you define the interest of the audience and let, let me show you what it is here we are. Here we are on the target audience on the ads manager. You see that here we have audience that live in Orlando, Florida, that are men from 35 to 55, speak English. And here is the deal. Detailing targeting. She's asking if we have more options here and I am, I am selecting here the interest of my audience, the behavior of my audience. She's asking if this is an and or this is an or. That means if this is exclusive, exclusive or not. Let's go to her example to make it clear. She's saying, okay, if I have a target audience that, that target the renters, uh, HD, HUD employees and persons likely to move soon. Will these three have, the, have to be met for each person or is one exclusive from another? So let me show you the exact example here, Debbie, and thank you so much for your question. Here we are on the detailing, and here we can see include people who match at least one of the following criteria. Okay, so if I have here men's uh, from 35 to 55 that are vegetarian and also they are they have interest on on eating healthy this is this is this is not exclusive basically what we are saying here that we will target everyone that is vegetarian and also everyone that is interested on eating healthy this is not an if we want to have an and we need to remove it from here and we need to click on narrow audience at the bottom. So here we see and must also match one of the following. So in here, yes, we can say uh, eating. Let's see here. Eating healthy. This is the interest. So now in this audience, yes, here we need, we are targeting men 35 to 55 that are vegetarian and also that are interested in eating healthy. If we have a man which is between 35 and 55 that is vegetarian but is not interested in eating healthy on Facebook, this man won't be on your target audience. Okay? We'll, we'll, you will have on your audience only the people that have number one vegetarian and also number two on the interest which is eating healthy and again you can apply and use this for anything uh, for any all any goals here on your facebook marketing and giving the example here of the vegetarian because it's easy to understand so to your question back to your question debbie uh, you are asking here about that basically if you are selecting renters employees and people likely to move soon if you are putting all of these on the interest box every person that meets one of each criteria doesn't need to meet the three criteria if meets only one or two or three doesn't matter they are in your target audience now if you add one of the options here on the on the first one if you add for example renters in here and you narrow your audience and you include in the second that must also uh, meet the H HUD employees you add it here and also you add another one here saying people likely to move soon which is the behavior in here on that case yes you are targeting only you are targeting only people that have that that meets the three requirements okay i hope this is helpful it's a little bit confusing but it's very useful when you are targeting your audience okay i hope to see you inside the course see you there